Welcome to the Josh Johnson Show. I'm Josh Johnson, joined by my co-host, fellow stand-up comedian, Logan Nielsen. Logan, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing well, man. How are you? I'm doing all right. I'm... <laughs> I, I think I'm just at this point where I'm I'm fed up with a lot of things. Like I think I I think that I don't think I'm crazy. I don't think that I'm a crazy person. <laughs> it's great that you're saying this in kind of a whisper too. No, no, but like, hey, hey, listen, listen. I don't think I'm crazy. Okay, I don't think I'm crazy. No one can tell me that I'm crazy. I just I so basically kind of off the cusp of what we talked about before on the Patreon and stuff like that. I've I've been going to the gym and I've seen increasingly there's just a wave. There's an epidemic in this country at this moment uh-huh. of people too, I think. Of, of people who genuinely want to be bigger people than they are. Like I know, I know my body size, I know my body type. I know that the best thing <laughs> that I can do is right. gain about 10 pounds. I gain about 10 pounds you know, of mm-hmm. muscle and I hold it for the rest of my life, I'm doing really well, you know, because I'm not a tall enough guy to be a big guy. That's not who I am. Right. I'm, not, I'm not a huge man. Okay. So I don't lift like a huge man would lift. I don't, I don't try to pick up 300, you know, pounds and put mm-hmm. it on my chest or lift yeah. it with my legs or move it at all. If I see 300 pounds, I leave it alone. I've I've been very good at leaving 300 pounds alone my entire life. My entire life, I've seen 300 pounds worth of stuff, and I haven't touched it. This whole rant has the energy of someone called you small yesterday. No. <laughs> someone just like, oh, you're little. And you've been like, listen, I don't need to lift those big weights, okay? It doesn't matter, okay? I don't need to. I know I'm not big. I don't need it. I'm comfortable with me. I don't need to lift it. You get out of here. Everything that you said is true, except for somebody calling me small. I'm very comfortable in my body. I know who I am. I like who I am. And I don't need to lift ridiculous amounts of weight just, right. to, just to prove something. Like, honestly, when you lift like that, all you're doing is practicing pushing people away in your life. That's all you're getting stronger for. Jesus. That if you are if you are pushing 500 pounds, I right. bet you you could push. I bet you could push a sibling away. Well, so now I, yeah, I want to be clear now like, too. Are you are you are you against anyone just trying to get bigger that way, or are you mainly just coming down on the people who clearly are trying, but they're they're skipping too many steps? I'm coming down on people who lift wrong. There's there's a lot of people out here that okay, are like, if go. I moved it an inch, I did the whole rep, and that's not life. Yes. Well, that's like when we that's watched, not, you know. If you ever watch those videos, we've watched a couple of the the gym fail compilation stuff, and yeah, we just did a thing on Patreon about it a little bit, and it's like most of those people who like fall down right away or pass out, it's because like yeah, your your body doesn't want to do that. <laughs> your body shut down because nah. you decided to skip yeah. from two hundred to three hundred. So there was this man in the gym. Mm-hmm. That all this this is also a very dumb thing to have happen because it's wholly unnecessary because even the gym wasn't equipped for it. Okay, so the gym doesn't have like a trap bar, right? It doesn't have one of those okay. hex bars that you you know. So I went to this yep. gym and it's it's very minimal, right? And this person took the long bar, you know, like the bar for you know. Um, squatting and Mm -hmm. bench pressing and everything and this person i don't know what his plan was i really don't but he uh, it's so stupid and like i should have just been recording him anyway so (laughs) because now that would be the next step of evolution in the show yeah because now now i have to explain a thing that's so dumb i'm gonna sound dumb saying it so what that's gonna be fun for me so (laughs) What he did <laughs> was he took the two bars that, mm-hmm. that are for squatting or bench pressing and he put weight on either side of those bars. Then he stood in the middle of each of those bars and tried to pick them both up like like he was standing in a hex bar, which if you don't know what a hex bar is, it's a way for you to deadlift um, where the bar, instead of being one long strip, yeah. it's all around you. It's this, a hexagon around you. Kind yeah. Of. This man took a bar here and a bar here 
and put weight on either side of them and then was trying to deadlift them up each. To, to explain right? it, it's, it's as if he he took uh, uh, weightlifting bars, but uh, like he put them down like skis. He put them down like skis and then on he tried to pick it up. either side of him to reach yeah. down to pull them up. And it, I'm assuming were these like regular length like bench bars? Yeah, regular length bench okay, bars, that's... which is insane. Wow. So then, the, the confidence that you will be able to balance that perfectly. <laughs> so then, <laughs> with only your wrists, it's this dude then stands up. So he does yep. do the rep. I'm not, I'm not, okay. I gotta give him full credit. He did the rep. But what he ends up doing after that is each bar in his hand starts mm-hmm. like swinging. Like it, it starts like, like yep. like swinging yep. one side that so now he's shifting his weight to try to balance them which you don't even have to do Jesus. you did the rep you did the rep let yeah. it go you could drop it it would make a loud so he did noise the rep and then he's just holding them now and then he did just... the rep i think what he was trying to do is do the rep and then shrug it i think he was trying to stand up and then shrug, oh, him, do a little right? shrug. but as he's trying to shrug it he like knocks him off balance so now he just looks like the world's worst juggler like nothing's leaving his hands but everything's moving <laughs> And people are starting to get concerned. Like, yeah. you, you don't want to get close enough to actually spot him, but you kind of, if he had had two friends, first of all, if he had had two friends, he wouldn't have done this. But if he had two <laughs> friends, they could yeah. have run up and grabbed the bar and taken each one out of his hand and told him that he was an idiot. But because he doesn't, he's just sort of swinging yeah. both bars and then is turning as he swings because <laughs> now he's truly off balance. Right? It's like those videos you see of bridges that go crazy, you know? Yeah, like yeah, those bridges that <laughs> and wobble earthquake. and just they just freak the hell out. Yeah. So so then so then he's like he's like this, like this, like this, and he finally he starts banging into a couple things, like some benches and stuff, because the yeah. the whole area is not wide enough for him to be doing this. <laughs> and so then he bangs into a couple things, and he finally is like, "I should set these down," and you can see just the I should sh- stop. You can see the strain on his face as he's trying to set them down where they're also uneven and he just refuses to drop them because i guess that would right, be yeah. that'd be uh in poor taste and so yeah he he finally sets them down when he stands back up after that if you want to call it a rep he is so genuinely lightheaded <laughs> <laughs> like bro i could see it i was like this dude wants to pass out <laughs> This dude wants to pass out so bad. And if nothing else but the sheer like like a like a man's ego is a is an incredibly powerful thing. A, 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 oh, for sure. An ego will give you the strength to lift that, but it will also remind you of how embarrassing it would be to pass out to the point where you force yeah. oxygen into your brain so you don't pass out. This dude was wobbling. <laughs> he wobbled to the water fountain. And then he stayed at the water fountain for quite a while and then just didn't drink any water. This dude wow. is leaning on the water fountain for like wow. strength. Because he knew bending over the rest of the way would take him down. That's where his body would give up yeah, to if, actually get to the drink. Yeah, if I actually stand up from this water fountain, I'll just pass out and bang right. my head on this water fountain. <laughs> wow. That yeah, I I don't I, I do wonder sometimes. Like I don't go to the gym uh, often, so I don't have. That's why I don't know a lot of gym stories when Josh brings it up. But, but there is always that. Th- like there's always people. And did this guy too seem like actually kind of in shape too? No, he was in shape. That's why. See, he that's the didn't need that's to always do that. the and that's always the mind blowing part too. It's always really in shape people, and then but you see everything they do is a buck wild choice. And like obviously that's not how you set that up. Don't do no. it that way. Don't ever. Then you're like, how did you how did you avoid injury long enough to get in good shape? <laughs> it's like they seem like they got lucky for so long and you're catching the one. Or is that every time? Does this guy feel like he's about to pass out every goddamn time? And he, in his mind, he's like, Man, that's a hell of a workout. One can rep, you, one rep makes you want to pass out. Can you imagine almost passing out and then having to in your head go, oh, one. Uh, day's just getting started yeah yeah set one rep one down uh i also love the um (laughs) it was deeply uncomfortable so 
you know, if someone actually listens to uh, this podcast that does CrossFit, I'm sure they'll correct us in in some way or fashion. Uh, but yeah. to my knowledge, and I just call them CrossFit pull ups because they're wrong, and I've only ever seen people who do CrossFit do them. Okay, <laughs> yeah. have you seen the pull up? where you're just fully using momentum to get the next rep. So it just looks like you're chest bumping the bar. Like you're just riding. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I've, I've literally only ever seen people who I know do CrossFit do it that way. That's just, right. I don't know if that's how they teach you or if they just don't care and they count those as reps. But basically, I was watching this guy in the gym one time that was doing those. And yeah. there's a guy standing on the ground that's trying to use the pull down machine. And he is just catching like whiffs of crotch at, <laughs> at every at every like rub with the bar. He's just like and uh. it's like he's like he's like truly catching crotch at the ear. Like just and he's like trying to just do his reps. And you can tell he's just swallowing the anger. He's just like, oh. <sighs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Yeah, I don't know how more people don't just die in gyms, to be honest. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's such a weird, the, the concept of a gym is wild because you pay me the money and then you just free range. You can just go. But that doesn't mean you know how to work out. Like, no, God, like no. I've even said that on stage before. I was like, you just took my money. I haven't graduated any program or anything. Yeah. So now I've just given you money to be allowed to hurt myself here. Yeah, you're good. Go in there. Throw around all those big, heavy circles. You got it, bud. I believe in you. Yeah. Here's a sticker. Yeah. And for twenty five ninety nine, I'll believe in you a little bit extra every month with one of our every specialized month. trainers. Yep. And I'll be here every week in my polo doing this. Give a little thumbs up at you. Uh, that's. And then once you walk away, I do not want to fucking hear from you again. <laughs> once you once you're in there with the big dangerous stuff, I don't want to hear from you. <laughs> Get in there. Fuck it up. My uh. <laughs> My friend in Chicago. Do you remember when I was in Chicago, I was at that export fitness? I remember you talking about it. Yeah. Okay. So I, I joined this export fitness gym when I lived in Chicago. And it was like, if I had been thinking and if it had been any other time in my life, I wouldn't have done it actually. Like I, you join that gym and they want all the money up front. Um, there's no monthly plan, at least while I was there, there was no monthly plan. Oh, so like for plan. the year you pay they f- want up front for a, a yearly year cost? They want a year and a half up front. And Damn. It, it's wild. And and then their January special, their like promotion that they do is that they'll right. give you, they say they're giving you like four months up to six months free, um, but you're not. That's just what you charge. And you're like, if, like if I divide it, I didn't save anything. You know what I mean? Like maybe the right. promotion goes away, but it probably comes back. So this is just what you charge at this gym. Like don't act like you're doing me some huge favor. Right. I said all that to say that when I was there, there was one guy who would always roast me because he wanted to train me. And so his sales tactic was to just belittle me every time he saw me. Oh, yeah. You told me about this guy. Yeah. yeah. So he would just roast me hard. He'd just be like, what's that extra, extra small? Like, just like everything about my shirts, about everything. And I was just like, nah, it's a regular like, no, small. No, I'm comfortable with my size. I don't need to be in here lifting this heavy stuff. Yeah. So this, happened, this happened recently, everybody. And this dude, this dude was <laughs> torn, right? This dude was like right. Terry Crews levels torn. And he'd just be like, hey, I, I see you in this gym. I see you moving around. You can move a little weight, but you guessing. Why are you guessing? Like he would do that every time. I would come in. You I guessing. would I would work out. I would know it was back day. So I would do only my back. And then just for fun, sometimes for cardio, I do the ropes. They have the ropes that you can do, you know, little like shaking the ropes. Do you know what I'm talking ones. about? Shaking the ropes. Yeah, yeah. It's like that. Isn't it a football thing? Don't you guys do that in football a lot? It's, it's for a lot. I mean, not at my school. We didn't have oh. big ropes, but yeah, for you. The, the big ass ropes you, you, yeah. you throw around. Rope shaking. Yeah, yeah. do the rope yeah, shaking. Yeah, yeah. yeah, do that. Um, And so, so I would do something like that. And anytime 
I turned around and I was doing an exercise that was outside the bounds of the body group I was working that day. That dude would, <laughs> would I would just see him in the corner and he'd just be shaking his head. <laughs> It's like it, it, it was the most disappointed like, in you from afar, dude. It was it was the most <laughs> flattered, but bullied, but like right. It, yeah. it was it was insane, and it and it went on for months, dude. It went on for months. Yeah. This dude, I would come in because I wasn't even coming in every day. There were some you gained like a like a high school athlete dad. Yeah, like you get him like he was disappointed in you that you weren't living up to. The potential. Yeah. This dude this dude was to wild. Make the team. He expects more of you, Josh. Yeah. And then he was like he was like, uh um what was he told me one time? He was like, Oh man, I saw you in here one time. I saw you doing those tricep extensions. I I was scared for your life. I was I was scared for your life. Okay. I was scared because, for your life. Because like you 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 couldn't handle that weight. You couldn't handle it. And I saw I thought your little arms were gonna snap in half. <laughs> this dude is telling me this. And then I was like, hey, if you saw me struggling, why didn't you help me? And he was like, I almost ran up to spot you, but sometimes people need to learn. You need to let a dude die to learn his lesson. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, why would I want to train with you if I know you almost let me hurt myself? And he was like, but I didn't let you hurt yourself because you didn't hurt yourself. And I'm like, don't act like a guardian angel. Like, yeah, don't act like you could tell I was going to get out of it. Yeah, if you were worried, because that's how you started this. Because the time that he's talking about, I couldn't even remember. So it's not like it's not like I almost died and he saw me. And then he brought yeah. it up later. Whatever he's talking about, I was like, "Are you sure you're even talking about me?" Like, yeah. Because also, I don't, do all us littles look the same to you? Yeah. Do, does everyone under six feet, under two hundred pounds, look the same to you? <laughs> you know, which would be hilarious. Uh, by the way, is if you're such yeah. a big dude, if you walk around looking like Terry Crews, and the rest yeah. of the world looks like minions to you. <laughs> All I see is forehead. I don't know. I can't. <laughs> Everyone looks the same. Whether they're four foot or they're five, they're five, yeah. like nine. You're like, I can't. I don't. What? <laughs> dude, it was it was truly chaos. This dude would like, he wouldn't follow me around. He would just always be there. <laughs> but he'd be watching from across the room. This dude, and, and I never really looked out for him that much. Anytime I happened to see him was me looking back does that make sense like like he was never in my like field of vision sight. yeah he would just yeah. be if i just happen to take a break like i'm drinking water and i turn around he's just in the distance in the gym just like <sighs> <laughs> i've never seen someone try to sell <laughs> he me he can't even drink hard enough there's no one that's ever tried to sell me me that hard yeah because he was just he told me he was like he was like man i can see you got a little shoulder you got a little chest it's just wasted potential yeah that's a real gym stepdad that's a yeah. real yeah yeah you know i was like if anything i can't work out with you now you know that right like yeah like i can't because even now there's too much feeling involved this is too intense <laughs> you're already too disappointed in me i want to at least start a median with with someone <laughs> And then um, slowly disappoint them over time. And and then it was <laughs> at that gym. So much happened at that gym because there was a there was a thing where um, if you open the wrong door, an alarm would sound. And for whatever reason, they actually had to clear everybody out of the gym. So if you went out of one of those doors, you'd lose your membership. Oh, and it was written really? on the door. It was written on the door. You lose your membership, you, even. You lose your membership. Wow. Because there was some there was because they they were only part of that building. And so I guess oh. if you if you sound that alarm, you end up um you end up actually like having them make everyone evacuate that's in the building. I think outside of the oh, export just because of that just because that alarm goes off, they have to like by policy get everyone out. Because I asked it because it was written on five doors. And right. I asked one of the guys one day, just one of the guys that worked there, I don't even know if he was a trainer, and I asked him why, and he was like, oh, 
Um, Cause once it goes off, it doesn't stop. Like someone has to come like, Oh, I guess you have to put a key in it. I don't know. But anyway, yeah. And sometimes the fire department's the only one that has like that key. Yeah. And so, uh, the worst part about that thing was they're the five doors that are like to the sidewalk. They're the most reasonable doors to exit. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I almost did it one time and I, I'm surprised I never did it. Uh, but I watched a guy do it once and you could just see his face. Like, like <laughs> the color. Didn't you lose just, your membership? You lose your membership. Wow. The color just drained from his face and he only cracked it and it went off. And, and we all had to like walk out and then, and I just left cause I was like, I was almost done anyway. I'll just leave in these clothes. Right. I don't need, I don't need this this bad. I feel like that's something that I know it's an emergency exit, so you can't block it. But I feel like you could put like one little yellow tape, you know, caution thing just right across it. Yeah. That would stop people. That stops people. And that's you can run through that in an emergency. That's gonna not gonna hold anybody. Yeah. If the gym is suddenly fully on fire in the middle, mm-hmm. which would be hard to do. <laughs> someone someone was working out so hard they burst into flames. Like that's yeah. for that to happen. The one of the best, one of the best workouts I saw someone do was there. And it was this guy, it was these two dudes who looked identical. Like I, one of them spotted me one time and I just, I guess I let it slip that I thought they were twins or something. And they were like, no, we're just buddies. And it was so funny to me because they looked identical. It was like, they, they looked like two Joe Rogans. Like two, <laughs> two dudes that couldn't have because they were both uh, bald. Dos Rogans. They were both bald, and they both had the shoulders and everything. Yeah. Anyway, when they would work out, I loved to see it because at first I thought they were trolling because this is the beginning of people putting those YouTube videos of them doing weird, annoying workouts. Oh so, yeah, yeah, screaming and shit. These dudes were not trolling at all. Their workout grunt sounded like an injury. And it couldn't have been funnier. Every so, <laughs> every rep that w- the, it was really one guy that did it more than the other guy. But every rep that this guy would do, he would go. <laughs> he would go. Wait, 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 wait! Don't make me laugh. Don't make me laugh. Stop! 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 stop. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. I'm doing it. Every every rep, he would go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, every every rep it didn't matter if he was doing chest press he would be doing chest press he'd be doing shoulder press he would do be doing like pull-ups and he would go (laughs) that sounds like you've like you did something that like (laughs) pisses off your dad like he looks at he's like (laughs) come on i gotta fix this now (laughs) And the worst part about it was that his form was like impeccable. <laughs> like you, you actually could have made a um, a tutorial video of this dude and just have him going. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's a workout video where they're showing form and they never address the noises that <laughs> the athlete in the video is making. <laughs> Because what we're trying to get is if you look right here, oh, that's the kind of motion we're looking for. Oh. And it was like and it's just it's just in the bed. The guy's trying to talk over it to camera. He's here, oh, oh, in the background. Because to me, this is this is, I guess what makes me laugh about it so hard is that his level of grunt was obviously based off the level of weight he was doing. Right. So when he was oh, so. doing hard shoulder presses, he was like, oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> but then when he was doing just body, <laughs> we're talking about body squats. Uh huh. He would be like, oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> and it was my favorite. I was so excited when they would work out because it was so funny. <laughs> At first, I thought they were trolling, and by the third time, I was like, "Oh, this is oh. earnest!" Like, <laughs> this dude, they both did it. They both made they, that noise. The, the the other guy did it less than the man. The man guy did it the most, and he oh, did it the cause, loudest. Because it'd be great if they both had the exact same noise, and then they look alike too, and just <laughs> trading places. Blah, blah. <laughs> oh, I um. God, I'm man. so glad that we're getting good stuff. Um, I have a very bad feeling that my battery's about to die. Um, so oh, on your camera, it's, yeah, it'll be less for you to edit, but it does mean we may not have a full video episode because I is don't. It, know, is I've, it giving the battery sign right now, or it's giving the battery sign? And I charged it, and it wasn't full, but it was on like you know. Um, two bars and it's only been 30 minutes so. is it giving you the battery sign or is it flashing the little red one for the card meaning it's recording no it's flashing the battery red and white oh okay yeah so yeah we'll, we'll take it till it goes but yeah i'll just keep talking um because well because i'm wondering like too we if we want plenty of good stuff for video but yeah so anyway <laughs> i just i i love when there's a, a movement in the gym or there's just a a certain like exertion that's just not regular you know every because right. these these exercises are not new there's there's rarely new equipment and even when there is it's new equipment helping you do an old exercise right yeah so i i used to love the guys who came in with the respirators before COVID. Do you remember those dudes who would come in with the oxygen mask? I mean, I've seen guys in oxygen masks. Josh, I don't go to the gym, bud. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> like, I just mean... In the time you've known me, you know I don't go to the gym. <laughs> yeah, I just mean if you've seen it in passing, you know? I know I know you don't go oxygen like... Oxygen tanks? Yeah, I've seen... No, no, I, not oxygen tanks, the little mask. Oh, like the white mask or like kind of like the it'll be the mask with the two uh, circles okay, on like either a, side. Okay, like an old ventilation mask kind of thing. Yeah, okay, and people okay. would work out in those, and it was always funny to watch because they were trying to mimic working out in altitude. I guess. Um, oh, is that the point of that? I, okay. I believe so, and it's so funny because it. I yep, that's your camera turning off. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> well, Josh's camera turned off. We're going to finish the episode. So, hey, <laughs> something's going to happen video wise. That's so funny. Uh, okay. Um, so, yeah, no, you would just see a guy in like a respirator or something. And, right. And every once in a while, you would see a guy who's like really slowing down. Like this was a bad idea. He should not right. be doing this. He's not he's not like. And it's not that he's not fit. There's just a level of fitness for what you want to do versus where you are. Right, yeah. And he's not he's not at that place where he can run on the treadmill for an hour in that respirator. It's just not happening. Right. And so you would see him just like really contemplating his life, but with the mask still on. Like this whole thing probably seems like less of a... Uh, of an issue since we've lived in COVID and have watched people have emotions with the mask on. But the mm. first time I ever saw someone have like a full on breakdown, I was <laughs> in a mask. I made, I was in a gym and this dude was just like huffing and puffing, but walking back and forth with his hands on his hips, but refused to take the mask off, but was just like, and this was pre COVID. You this said this is pre COVID. So, oh, okay. so my man does look crazy. <laughs> Yeah, it's the people like that too. Like you look around, you can't like we can't all be training for something. We all can't be training for some sort of life changing journey we're about to go on. It seems like that's what some are trying to do. Of like, oh, I'm I gotta be ready to run a mountain, yeah. maybe. I'll I'll do you one better. I'll do you one yeah. better. Most of us shouldn't be training for anything. <laughs> yeah, that's the flip side of it. Most of us just should not be. Yeah. Because <laughs> because this is the thing. a lot of people mistake what good longevity exercise is. It's 
very little of it is lifting actually. You need to be active to the point where you're walking every day and you need to be moving for yourself when it's necessary. So mm-hmm. you you go like I think that New York um keeps people just by by virtue of what it takes to live here. I think New York actually does help you stay healthy if you decide to walk instead of Uber and bus everywhere. Well, that, that, that alone when I was is there, doing like wonders for you. When I was there and we talked about how hot it was, uh, I think I, I lost like seven pounds just from like purely walking around and sweating my ass off. Yeah. And then the, and then yeah. the agility too, because I was, remember that last day, uh, New York threw a few rats and roaches at me. So maybe kind of have to <laughs> stay quick. Yeah. Because honestly, it happened twice on the way home, a, a rat ran through my feet, which is like fine, but it's startling once. Twice, you kind of go like, really? Yeah. Dude, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, that thing, oof. Uh, when you have to just like get somewhere on foot that you don't even care to be, <laughs> that really <laughs> makes you take your time when you're walking. And I think that just that alone is is really good exercise. <laughs> Even that, dude. That's what I love too about about people that live in New York, and you do it a lot. Where it's like. <laughs> You're you're even trying to praise it for something, and you're like, yeah, but then you gotta walk, and you don't even want to be there. <laughs> no, yeah, every, no. every statement always has this layer of being like, and also like, what's even the point, and why? But New York, um, this is wildly off topic. I mean, I guess not. It's about staying staying limber, staying loose. Uh, but I just this might only be interesting to you and not our listeners at all. But uh, but Maddie caught a possum the other night. So your dog, that is how old? She turns 12 this week. So your dog that is 12 years old this week caught a possum. That Bro, I was proud of her. I'm, She's never caught anything. It caught a possum that I'm assuming was agile. I'm, it was a small possum. Like it was small and like thin. I actually thought I saw it at one point there was a quick second in my head where I'm like, is that a ferret? Because I've never seen one so long and like black before, but it was definitely a possum because I saw it had the tail and it wasn't a rat. And when then she went right to it, she had it. She knew where it was gonna be. I'm really proud of her. She's a, she's a shit hunter for a hound, so I'm, she was ready. She bolted, cut it off, and it was in her mouth with one grab, and then it did the full like possum like blah like play dead thing. And it was really honestly too. I'm I'm gonna critique this possum's performance, hamming it up a little bit. It was a bit much. <laughs> Do you think if possible, it had its mouth talk- open and its tongue out, it was going bah, and I'm like, all right. <laughs> Do you, do you think if possums could talk, they'd be like, "Oh, you got me! I have been murdered." Ooh, <laughs> oh, you got me, my oh, the light. <laughs> mm, <laughs> oh damn. no, my, I see, I see my grandma. <laughs> Ooh, I'm so dead. Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you what? killed me. Ooh, and, then, and she was. I think Maddie was surprised she caught it because one, I like yelled, I was like, "Maddie, drop it!" And she kind of looked at me like, "I don't know what to do now." <laughs> She just had it in her mouth looking at me. And then she dropped it and I dragged her in. And then I once I closed the door, I saw the possum get up. I'm like, Ugh, and then like <laughs> walk out of the yard. And do <laughs> that's the part I, that so grossed you out the, the most weekend. was the possum walking away. <laughs> yeah, that was <laughs> <laughs> what you think was gonna happen next. I I hadn't prepared myself for that part. <laughs> For the thought of a possum walking. <laughs> okay, interesting. <laughs> um, so over the weekend, I was in Ojai, California, with uh, Sally and her parents and everything. And uh-huh. in the middle of the night, I went to the bathroom. And in the bathroom, while I was on the toilet, just trying to you know do my natural thing um a spider <laughs> trying a spider to do my natural that, thing just a spider that magic. just had too too many legs okay a spider oh, with more, more than the regular eight out of its <laughs> legs yeah like this, a 15 legged spider came out 
this spider had a fat old ass, which to me reads as poison. <laughs> uh, you're probably not wrong. <laughs> yeah. So I j- just like immediately grab a towel and stomp the shit out of it. You know? Right. I'm just stomp, yeah. stomp, 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 right? I move the towel. This is all while I'm still on the toilet. Like I haven't, st- I haven't I'm not standing up or anything, right? Right. And and so I can barely even reach it. I'm like extending my leg to stomp it. And then I move the towel and it's all crumbled. You know, so it's you, doing it's so like. So you're, you're standing on the toilet, but stomping down at it. Raining down from above is what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Okay. I was just trying to. Yeah. That was, yeah. And so, so then I move the towel and it's doing, it's all crunchy, you know, like. I've been through a blender stance, whatever, right? And mm-hmm. then I think it's dead. I, I still need, I'm still on the toilet, so I can't do anything about it at the moment. And yeah. I, I genuinely almost scream though, because I'm sitting on the toilet, I'm almost done. And as I'm about to like stand up, it it fully just extends all of its legs and runs away. And, wow. and like, I was, I was ready to throw up because if you've ever watched a spider come back to life, you know how disgusting it looks like it stayed in that crumpled position because it thought, okay, if I, if I stay like this, maybe they'll leave me alone. And he was right. Yeah. Um, then I go have a great day. We went on a hike. It was beautiful. We saw some oranges along the way um, that that were like truly like so ripe that they were falling off the tree. Uh, incredibly sweet. We ate a couple of them, and then we went into town. Had a great brunch, and you know, just like had a really really nice day. Then that night, I go to the bathroom again, and this is I'm a very, I'm I'm pretty regular. I don't want to brag, but I go to the bathroom again. <laughs> And as I am on the toilet, shut up, shut the fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> that hit me in waves of you bragging about being regular. All right, go ahead. What happened? It's a there? it's a beautiful thing. It's a it's a great thing. Yeah, yeah. it means your life. Some is people in aren't order. that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so anyway, my girlfriend's jealous of me. I'm more regular. She, she absolutely, she's called me out. She's like, she's like, you have a, she's like, you got your, your times in the day. I go, yes, I do. Yeah. And so, so it's called training. (laughs) Oh, huh? Come on. It's called, it's called aspiring to greatness. (laughs) Oh God. Okay. So anyway, I, I, go to the bathroom again and I'm in the same position, just vulnerable. Okay. Pants down, knees up. All right. That's the way I like to fuck. And so <laughs> I could, so you then, said it in the perfect rhythm. I couldn't help but say it. What I can only assume is the same spider comes from under this, this set of, uh, like drawers that are in the bathroom and I'm like this he's asking to be murdered now like now he's now he's actually asking so I laid a <laughs> trap I dropped a washcloth on the floor and let him walk on it and then I threw the towel over and then I stomped it because now there's nothing flat for for him to like you know weasel around with you know he can't like shimmy and shimmy and everything he's between okay he's between two textured surfaces that are going to be smushed together so now gotcha. now i got him right in my yeah. mind now i got he's 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 done you know but what's that he's behind you <laughs> with a gun <laughs> and so then i i stop I finish using the bathroom. I stand up, right? I regular check amount of time. again. I, I check. Yeah, very regular amount of time. I'm not a freak. <laughs> I check again and and he's still there. I then go, and this is like, this is my fault. I did this to myself, okay? This is not a good thing that I did. But 
just out of out of the fact that he defied me once and then I I I lost him <laughs> and now I got him again and I yep. laid a trap for him. I think it's Macho Man Randy Savage's people's elbow, right? Uh, well, the people's elbow is is the rock, but but Randy Savage did the flying elbow. The, the atomic okay, elbow. Okay, I'll show you what I did and you tell me who it belongs to, okay? I went ahead and I slapped I would, I'll just say the, the elbow. two elbow moves. I, I, I right. slapped the elbow and I did a little jump and I came okay. down as best as I could. The problem is when I went to... That come, hurts when you do it? <laughs> When I went on the to, floor, when I went to come down in the bathroom, I slipped on a different towel, and so I almost, I nearly put my elbow through the wall, uh, <laughs> because as I was coming down, it just threw my trajectory off. Like now I'm falling, but I'm more falling towards the wall. And when I went to, I, I, I didn't try it again. When I went to move the towel, the spider was gone. Okay. Okay. I got a few things we need to just go back through and just touch on. Go ahead and shoot. Shoot. Okay. So you genuinely decided to drop an elbow on the spider. I already killed him. Now it's time to insult him. And you thought like, this won't go wrong. I thought there was enough room in the bathroom. But you're still going to come down on like the flat floor with your elbow. It's not going to feel great. Yeah, but I'm going to land on rugs and towels. Okay. All right. Fair. Okay, fair. But then I should, after I should all have that, pointed out there was a big rug in the bathroom. That's still... Okay. I just like... I'm still I'm like... You're lucky you didn't like <laughs> fracture your fucking elbow just dropping it. On the flat floor. I was gonna hit in him in the bathroom. I was gonna hit him with more tricep meat than elbow. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, you really trying to do a stunt fall. I get it. I gotcha. Uh, but then ultimately, the spider did escape, and so now you're just you're just showboating. I mean, I don't know why that's such a over, like arc over of the story. A, I'm just saying the spider has bested you twice now. And you got so cocky, you were about to do a celebratory elbow drop onto it. As you're, that would be like if when the Rock does the people's elbow and he like pulls off the shoulder pad and does like the thing, he's not realizing the wrestler is slowly crawling away until he drops the elbow, and he's like, "Oh damn it, they left." I didn't look. I guess it would be like that. Yeah. How about we open the mailbag? No, you don't get it. You don't get to just pull that ripcord on me. <laughs> you know the story you just told. <laughs> Fine, we can open the mailbag if you want. Let's see here. I wasn't prepared. Let me open it up. Um, all right, this first one here. This one is from uh, Ivana. And the title of it says, how do I get in the mailbag? And then the body says, yay, please help. Thanks. Hey, you've done it. Your wish was granted. You got in the mailbag. That's how you do it. You email Josh Johnson show at gmail.com. <laughs> so, so send away, Ivana. <laughs> you've done it. That's so funny. Congrats. I love that. <laughs> Because it's also like the way to do it, and they nailed it. <laughs> so, Ivana killed it. It's perfect. Uh, all right. Uh, this next one here, this is from Daniel, and I figured this one's on topic because it's called Puking at the Gym. And we just had uh, stories of, <laughs> of, 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 of gym craziness and unfortunate bathroom craziness with your spider fight. So uh, let's see. Uh, this is from Daniel. Uh, hey, Josh and Logan. Over the past year or so, I have discovered Josh's stand-up and really enjoyed all that I could find on the internet. When I found out that y'all were hosting your own podcast, I knew I had to check it out. Since listening uh, in for the first time, I have been listening to you all every day and have thoroughly enjoyed each episode since. 
I particularly enjoyed the episode Say Something Dummy, partly because of the ridiculous story, but also because Logan's infectious laugh. Great stuff. That one, I really got broken that one. So, uh, But also, if they just recently discovered the show, I think that was episode 99, wasn't it? Like, I think so. God damn. Just, God, some of y'all are amazing. Just the way you sprint through. Like, <laughs> like, I don't know. Uh, anyways, I wanted to share a story with you uh, that I think you might get some amusement out of. My whole life, I grew up overweight and very insecure about my body. I was never proud of how I looked or felt. And in the summer of 2018, I decided that I was going to change that once and for all before I started college. I decided to join a gym and one of my best friends who had been working out consistently for a few years at this point. Um, prior to this, I had never had any official weight training or gym experience in my life. However, I did play sports for most of my life, so I was not entirely unsure of myself when I first walked into the gym. However, where I was a total novice was in the kitchen. For most of my life, I had the diet of a middle schooler. Pizza rolls, fudge rounds, potato chips, and that good southern cooking is what I grew up on. Uh, this was also the food that I ate when I first initially started working out. I bought every kind of supplement that I could get my hands on, protein powders, pre-workout, BCAAs, you name it, I bought it. You might now be able to see where this story is going, but if not, I promise I will arrive to the point soon. <laughs> I love, I love a, pre, a pre-story tease. <laughs> you might see where this is going. If you don't, I'll tell you. <laughs> One day I decided that I wanted to go to the gym to work out. However... I was hungry at the time, and I was not about to go to the gym on an empty stomach. Lucky me, my family had ordered pizza the night prior, so there had been plenty of leftover pizza for me to eat. So I regretfully ate more pizza than I should have, guzzled down my pre-workout concoction, and headed to the gym. On the way to the gym, I began to feel an uneasiness in my stomach, but I was filled with hashtag brotivation. (laughs) Thank you. Uh, and was not about to be <laughs> was not about to be stopped by a little bit of a tummy ache. Once arriving to the gym, I decided that uh, I decided hold on. Once arriving to the gym, I decide that it is time to do some back exercises. So like any other gym bro, I sat down at the rowing machine to start my beginning sets. I should also note two things at this point. One, I arrive at the gym around 6 p.m., which is the absolute rush hour for the gym. There were people everywhere, and I was practically shoulder to shoulder with everyone in the gym. Two, the rowing machine I was using was in the literal middle of the gym, which meant that I was surrounded by people and mirrors on all sides. Okay. All right, back to the story. <laughs> I don't think he's putting that way. Out of game, in game. Uh, so I sit down to begin my sets, and my stomach is feeling uneasy. I complete set one, no big deal. However, set two is a different story. As I am performing my second set, I can feel the unholy mix of pre-workout and pizza, and my stomach uh, begin to return to the surface. Stricken with fear of what was about to happen, I panic and freeze. Then the unthinkable happened. I puked onto the rowing machine in the middle of the gym during the middle of rush hour. I sat there in the middle of the gym with the nastiest mix of stomach acid pizza and pre-workout you've ever seen just sitting on the rowing machine. <laughs> that sounds like it would look like the slime from Ghostbusters 2. <laughs> it also would be, so, because it's a rowing machine, it'd be so funny if he slid back while it happened. Oh, it like fell off the back of it. Like, <laughs> bah! <laughs> Pushed him back. <laughs> uh, um... Uh, In this moment, my uh, fight or flight instinct kicked in and I fought everyone there. No, that's not what happens, but that would be... I just just started throwing punches. No, I immediately ran towards the paper towel station. I ripped off some paper towels, frantically cleaned up my puke, and then sat to finish my set and work out like nothing happened. That's a bold move. This is normal. That's that's how it goes. If If that doesn't happen to you, you're doing it wrong. Uh... To this day, I can't believe that I did not just get up and leave in humiliation of the fact that I just puked in the middle of the busiest gym in town. But for some reason, I was compelled to complete my workout. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the story of me being slightly humiliated in public. I still get a kick out of this to this day. Life is funny, isn't it? (laughs) What a beautiful chaotic ending. (laughs) Anyways, thanks for all you two do. Keep up the good work. Take care, Daniel. 
there's also some PSs here. Do you want me to read those? Yeah, please. Uh, P.S. I live in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and would love to see y'all perform stand up here someday. Don't know if my city has ever been on the radar, uh, but I'd love to put our name in the running for future shows just in case you guys are ever feeling up to it. I mean, half show will travel is usually our deal, but. Yeah, all right. You know, a little bit. So Chattanooga, probably not out of range. Uh, P.S.S. Oh, no, that's postscript script. It'd be P.P.S., right? Post postscript. Yeah, PPS. Mm. I did not mean to correct. I just I, I read it and then my brain got stuck of being like, that's not You don't you don't have to explain yourself. You did you're doing uh, great. <laughs> hey, thanks, buddy. That's the most supportive he's ever been to me on the show. <laughs> that's the nicest Josh has ever been to me. And his camera's not working, so there isn't even video evidence of it now. Damn it. Yeah, there'll be a cartoon though. <laughs> Uh, I also come from a small town like Josh, and growing up, we also had a firework man. Our firework man uh, also operated out of an 18-wheeler container with awnings cut into cut into it like the one Josh mentioned that he purchased fireworks from in episode 101, The Louisiana Avengers. My firework man left his firework container in the parking lot of our grocery store year-round, and it would open up in July. Oh, wow, so a year-round... That truly is then just a, a spirit Halloween. <laughs> it opens for the one month and then just sits empty. 100%. Uh, glad to hear that I'm not the only one who grew up with a small town with a local firework man. Maybe my town was just too small to even have a firework man. Maybe you guys were, were, were big small towns. We didn't even have yeah, a fireworks we were- industry in my hometown. <laughs> Yeah, imagine being a little city slicker. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Yeah, that's probably probably good, huh? Yeah. We're just going a little short on this one, but... Thanks so much for listening to the Josh Johnson Show. We had a great time recording. I hope you had a great time listening. If you are looking to catch up with us on any of the socials, you can find me at Josh Johnson Comedy on Instagram, Josh Johnson on Twitter, Josh J Comedy on Facebook, and Josh Johnson Comedy on TikTok and YouTube, where we're going to be posting clips and full videos of the show. And if you're looking for Logan... You can follow me on Instagram at Logan M. Nielsen. And if you want to get in the mailbag like those people there, you can uh, email us uh, joshjohnsonshow at gmail.com. Or you can also leave us a five-star review on Apple Podcasts, which we also like to read in the air. And I just had some sent to me, actually, from our our Canadian uh, iTunes reviews. Oh, wow. Uh, our, buddy, our buddy D sent me a couple. So maybe we'll have to read uh, now that I've, I have some international uh, iTunes reviews. Maybe we'll read some next time. Yeah, please. Yeah. Um, uh, and you can also, what's the next thing I say? It's about the Patreon. That's what it is. So if you join our Patreon, patreon.com slash Josh Johnson show, we have a uh, bonus podcast there, bonus video stuff and access to past virtual live shows, full replays at a certain level, which we'll probably be doing one of those here soon. We'll be posting. We haven't scheduled that yet. Yeah. But the next virtual show. Well, we're going to do it again this month. Yeah, so. it's going to be fun. Keep an eye out for that. Follow us on all those socials to to get those details. Come on through and uh, watch yourself when you work out. Be be your own spotter. You know, be careful. Be your own spotter. Now that's kind of inspirational. I like that, and it can be taken either way. You like be your own spotter at the gym. Be your own. Be your own emotional spotter. You know, take care of you. Be be your own heart spotter. Heart spot doesn't sound good. That sounds like something that'll kill you. Yeah, that sounds really well, bad. Yeah. Ooh, you got a heart spotter. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> killed him. One of that killed my uncles. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Oh, like, well, right. Yeah. Yeah, heart spotter seems like it'll do you in. Yeah. Yeah. That's the widow maker. The old hot sp- heart spotter. It's hard to say quick, too. I'm just going to yeah, see how long you have a drag spot. out this. Because I have a heart spotter. <laughs> Yeah, the heart spots really. <laughs> yes, the slurred speech is the first sign of a heart spotter. Uh, well, all right. I'm going to call my doctor. Thanks for listening. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>